As we mentioned earlier, there is a new variation of the tuck splice developed by Sherman Moran. In this variation, all of the strands are passed down the center of the rope for half a fit length. Then the rope is unbraided and each pair of strands is passed radially through the rope. Let's see how this splice is built. Start the splice by measuring one and a half fit lengths, in this case 36 inches, and tape that mark. Then measure another half fit and mark for the start of the eye. Measure the eye loop, we're using a 12 inch eye, and mark it as well. The tail of the rope will be buried into the standing part from here to here. At this point, one half a fit length down from the eye, mark a set of picks around the rope so that all of the tucks will start at the same point. Attach the fid securely to the tail of the rope. Insert the fit at the bottom of the eye mark, being careful not to snag any strands, and exit at the pick marks. Then pull the rope through until the tape mark has exited the body of the rope. The splice will now look like this. Remove the fid and all the tape you use to attach it, and separate the strands back to your taped mark. Then array the strands in a star pattern and pair them up, matching opposite S and Z strands, and tape each pair. For convenience, separate the six pairs of strands into two groups of three each, and start the next step with the three pairs closest to the body of the rope. Take any one of the three pairs and locate the nearest pick location you marked earlier. Insert the Swedish fit under the pick mark and pull the strand pair through. Notice how this first pair comes out under the marked strand. Now do the same thing with the next pair, slipping the Swedish fit under the next marked strand, and pulling the strand pair through. Continue this process all around the rope until all six pairs have exited under the marked strands. When all the strands have exited the rope, pull them down tight. Now begin the 4-3-2 tuck procedure, just as you did in the traditional tuck splice shown earlier in this tape. Put four tucks in all six pairs of strands, then three tucks in half the pairs of strands, then separating the pairs into individual strands, put two tucks in three of the individual strands. When all the tucks have been completed, tape each tail and cut it off to finish the splice. As you can see, the Moran splice does take somewhat longer to build but it offers a very smooth transition from the eye all the way down the splice. Depending on your particular application, you may want to finish off the tails in a different manner. In cases where the splice area will be covered by chafe gear, you could remove the tape entirely. In other cases, you may want to use self-vulcanizing silicone tape or fuse the ends with a propane torch.